I love to read. When I was young I would finish book after book with surprising speed. Chapter after chapter, the words blended together as the hours passed. Harry Potter, the Warriors series. I loved them all. Every Saturday at noon my local library would have a book sale to get rid of all the unwanted books and I always went late. So the book hounds would be gone. You know, the people who buy them for cheap prices and then sell them on websites like eBay for higher prices. All my books were well loved. Each one like a child to me. I could read through an entire series in a week and I was damn proud of it. My mom was too. I was her little reader. Her smart kid. Her normal kid. As I got older, I was allowed to stay out later and later. My mom growing less concerned with my safety and more with my younger brothers. Stephen and William, who don't come into the story other than this one mention. To connect to you, reader, to show I am a real person. My name is Leah. I am 18 years old and I live with my mother. My life isn't happy. It is certainly isn't exciting. But I have no reason to leave my little poding town. A sense of taking care of my family keeps me here. Otherwise I'd be in Texas with my future fiancé. Besides, I have school to finish and things to do before I move on. I have blue eyes, which people love to mistake for gray. And simple, plain, brown hair. I'm short and I hate it when people bring it up. Because I can definitely stand my ground. And of course I've always been interested in the occult and horror. Especially creepypasta. I just never thought I would end up like this. You see, I am trapped in a book. It started when I was at the library late in the evening. It was quieter than usual. I had been sitting in the manga and anime section which was located next to the computers. And it was always louder than the other sections of the library. I had just picked up a copy of Mr. Mercedes, a new release from my favorite author Stephen King. It didn't bother me, as I was rather absorbed in the book, going into what my mom called La La Land when I wasn't paying attention or focusing hard on something. Suddenly I lost focus on the book and slightly disoriented I looked up. The normally crowded section of the library was empty. I stood, book in my hand, armed only with my library card and house key, making my way up the aisles. I began to feel a trickle of fear go down my spine, because as I looked around the library was completely empty. Not even the kind librarians and the not-so-patient ones who are known to not clean your CDs properly before you rented them were gone. Briefly, I stopped at the help desk and rang the bell. Once, twice, a third time, no answer. I began to quiver as the hair on my arms stood up. Goosebumps covering the exposed skin on my arm. At that point I dropped my book and saw it. A hand was reaching for me. From the book, fear gripped me like an icy talon. For a moment I couldn't move and I didn't break eye contact with the book. It looked thin, so I could only assume it was Mr. Tasty's hand, otherwise known as the Mercedes killer in the book. I took a step back, and then another. The arm kept extending until its iron grip was around my ankle. I landed on my ass as it gave a rough yank, and my squeal of pain was nothing compared to the shock I was going through. In no way was this happening. It had to be a dream. I began to pinch my arm, even slicing at the skin with the library card to come back to my senses. Nothing. This was real. The card fell from my hand as I was dragged closer and closer to the book. It was slow going, giving me time to try to ditch the pants I was wearing. Not to much avail though. I tried kicking the hand, but it seemed to not feel any pain. Inch by inch I was drawn to the book, and then my foot disappeared into the pages. A strange feeling washed over me. I could feel my foot but it felt like it had fallen asleep and then another hand surfaced grabbing my other ankle and pulling it down into the book. The same feeling washed over me, staticky where my limbs had been. Then I realized I can't fit into a book. How wrong I was. It pulled me down further, until I was in up to my stomach. Struggling harder now, 
Tears formed in my eyes from the effort of keeping myself out. One arm gave out, then the other, and I was sucked into a void. The hands had now disappeared, and I saw the void closing. What I now realized was the book shutting, shutting me inside, trapping me. Nobody knows where I am. I just disappeared off the face of the earth. It was the year 2014 when I disappeared. Please send help. A post-it sticker is attached to the tattered book which now lays on one of the back shelves in the library. The title on the red binding reads, My Favorite Story, and the cover shows a girl falling down the hole, her long brown hair covering most of her face, making her features unable to be determined. In the library records, nobody has ever checked this book out and it remains on its shelf to this day. It is now the year 2027. Leah underscore 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 was reported missing a day after she didn't return home from the library. She is still missing. This was made for a contest for a P-Mat. I hope you like it. Less than three.